In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create animated glowing outline effect in Premiere Pro without using any plugins. Let's get to it. So here we are in Premiere, and the first thing I'm going to do is to duplicate this layer. So I'm going to hold the Alt key on the keyboard, click and drag it one track up. That duplicates the clip. Now open Effects window and search for Find Edges. And add it to the top clip. Then head over to the Effect Controls panel, and here under the Find Edges settings, Check the invert box, then search for tint. Also add it to the top one. And this is done to remove all the color and make everything black and white. Then search for curves, the RGB curves, and then scroll down to the RGB curve settings. And we're going to use this one, the one that is white. I'm going to drag the top part of the graph to the left to make everything brighter and more defined. And this one I'm going to, at the bottom, I'm going to drag to the right to remove some of the areas that are getting picked up. That's so you can see that removes some of the noise in these areas. After that, I'm going to search for Gaussian Blur. Add it to the top one as well. Scroll down and I'm going to set the blurriness to something like 5 or 6. That is just to make the outline slightly softer and more thicker. Then I'm going to search for 4 color gradient. Add it. And first of all, let's set the blending mode of this to soft light. So it nicely overlays on top of the outline that we have. And then in the colors, you can have up to four different colors of the overlay. And I'm going to select just one color and that will be red. So let me select the red color and copy that to all other points. So here we have just the red color overlay. And then what I'm going to do is search for curves once again. And I'm going to add another curves and this will be at the bottom and we will be affecting everything that we've done so far. And again, I'm going to use this white graph and I'm going to create the S shape. So one point here, I'm going to drag this down. One point here, I'm going to drag this up. And this is done to bring up the contrast of the scene. And after that, we scroll all the way up and find the blending mode or the blend mode in the opacity settings and set it to screen. And that will nicely overlay the outline on top of the footage that we have. And now we just need to find the moment where we want this effect to begin. So let's say I want it to appear here and I'm going to say move the time indicator to the exact frame here. I'm going to create keyframe for scale by clicking on the stopwatch and also for the opacity. Then I'll move one frame back and then set opacity to zero. And what this does is we pretty much won't have any effect until this point and then it will kind of like hit from here and then let's go all the way to the end of the video to this point so we can see the video i'm going to set scale to 150 or 200 so scale it up and then opacity i'm going to set it to zero so the effect is gone so now the motion well we've created the animation but the motion is very flat because it's a linear animation and let's adjust the velocity of the keyframes so come to the effect controls panel and first let's expand this arrow next to scale to see the velocity and the speed graphs of the animation, I'm going to use the velocity graph. So let's give us some, some space So drag this down. I'm going to select one keyframe and hold the shift key and select the other one. I'll let you select multiple keyframes at a time. Right click any of them and select Bezier. And now you'll get these handles that you can move around and play around with the timing of the animation. So I'm going to drag this one like this up and this handle extend it all, like, all the way to the left. So make, give the graph this kind of a shape. And let's do the same for the opacity. So expand the opacity. Again, expand this down. Select the, the second keyframe and the last one holding shift. So they're both blue. Then right click and select Bezier and do the same thing. So in this case, we're going to drag the, the first handle down like that. And the end handle extended to the left like that. So this is the graph. So what this does is we have a, like a very fast animation at the start and then like it, it slowly like fades away. So after you do all those, let's preview the animation. And here's the effect done. So that's how you create the animated glowing outline effect in Premiere Pro without using any plugins. If you